Good morning, YouTube. Today is Thursday, February 4th, 2021, and there are now only 986 days remaining on my 999 day journey. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you tuning in. Ooh, so I was up late last night and it is morning time now. It is about five minutes after eight o'clock and I have to leave here shortly to take my kid to school. But I just wanted to hop on really quick, see if I could get today's video knocked out in the morning. Um, apparently, yesterday's enthusiasm has carried over to today, which is good, and so I'm looking at starting today strong. Um, last night I was just so proud of uh, the, the list I had started of my growing um, plans for the year that I you know, went to bed and of course the first thing I did as soon as I laid down instead of closing my eyes well I did close my eyes but they pop right back open and I started thinking of all the things that I hadn't thought about <laughs> so I've got um, several more things that I'll be adding to the list today and having to work into the calendar so I am still very enthused about doing that and um, yeah, so I'm going to get that done, and I'm going to try and get the, uh, not try, there is no try, as Master Yoda would say, uh, there is only do or do not, so I shall finish editing the uh, revised goals video, so I will get that up today. Uh, it won't be this morning, but it will be later today. After I finish my list of all the things I want to grow this year, the next step in the garden planning will be to actually map out where um, they're going to live, where each plant is going to live in my garden space. So uh, as I mentioned, this is my first year uh, in this house. Um, when, I, when I bought this place, I, I, it has already um, established garden areas. So there's like, I think, seven um, decent sized raised beds, a couple of bean tunnels, um, a lot of um, like old tire beds, um, you know, like individual truck tire size beds. Uh, those are what I used last year for my tomatoes and pepper plants. Um, and uh, one very long run that I will use for tall plants. And I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll take I'll take a video uh, soon with that. But the next step will definitely be to. Uh, figure out what I'm putting in each one of those places. So in addition this year, I will also be using my enclosed, I should have listened to the New Orleans Gardener when she said to make sure you turn off all your devices when uh, you start recording because I have just taken a phone call and completely lost my train of thought. So. I'm pretty sure I was talking about my enclosed greenhouse. Um, I've tried calling it my greenhouse, my hothead, hothead, my greenhouse, my hothouse. Um, I intended to wrap it in greenhouse plastic uh, all the way around, and that has not happened yet. It might still happen. I have a plan for that. I even built out a 3D model um, <laughs> using, using, uh, scrap paper um, to, to model how I wanted to actually accomplish the, the wrap on this building, so or structure, not building. So I will be excited to use that. I will um, also make a video about the build of that. I I've, I've took a lot of pictures um, during the process, so I'm going to add those to a video and um, as I continue with that project, I will take more pictures and um, and videos. So, <sighs> day two, super motivated. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are in the world, and I will talk with you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.